All right, I'm gonna do a quick run through on how to get your get a save file on an SA2 save file onto the Xbox 360 um, from PC and vice versa, actually. So, uh, so the first thing you're gonna need to do, you're gonna need to go on and. all the way into your settings system um, storage and games and apps sonic adventure 2 battle and then you'll have your uh you'll have this so you'll want to copy this over to your flash drive and then now you have two copies of the game and this is the point where this is the first thing you needed to do uh, and then you can turn off the console. Boom. Uh, actually, I don't think you... Well, no, you definitely needed to do that, right? So, give the Xbox 360 a second to uh, fully shut down so you don't corrupt the flash drive or anything while the light is still flashing on the flash drive. Uh, in the meantime... Uh, You'll need three things. You're going to need uh, Horizon, which you can get from wemod.com slash Horizon. Uh, you're going to need the SA2 file, uh, the SA2 save converter, and just get the most recent version. It should be fine. And then uh, for this purpose, we're doing the emblem skip save file on uh, SRC slash SA2B slash resources. All right. So with that in mind, it should be good now. It is. <laughs> Gonna put this flash drive into the PC real quick, into the computer. And let us, let us do our things real quick. Okay, so. Horizon setup, Horizon has been set up. We have this here and it should automatically sense the flash drive and the games and everything on there, right? So, I'll boot up Sonic Adventure 2, uh, depending on how many copies of it you have and stuff like. So, the one that should, the one that you should be worried about is, uh, sh there should only be one really. Uh, Open that up, go into contents here. You could extract this and um, and add it to this. So like, you'll just go ahead and extract and, and then you'll just put it in here. Right, save data dot bin. So there we go. And so you can append it to that. But that's not what we're worried about right now. So let's see here. Yep. Okay. So zip extract here. And then we will go ahead and say to save converter. So what you'll do is you'll open this up and you want to grab the, you want to grab this. Uh, so you want to grab the save file that you want to add to your thing. So uh, for this purpose, I'm going to create a whole new save file, right? So let me actually go navigate and find no, I need to do that in here. SA2. Go save data. Here is my 180 emblem file. I want to start with that, right? Xbox. Would you like to append to an existing 360 save? So if you want to add this to the save files you already have, then you'll click yes. If not, you'll click no, and it'll save to wherever you got the file from. Let me 
open a new window and quickly, yep. So we're gonna do that real quick and You can once again, uh, using this save file, and, and you can just use that one. It doesn't have to be the correct naming or anything. It will sense all of that. If you'd like to append, I'm going to append it to the one that I just transferred over. Boom. And now it has been saved to slot two. And you can do this as many times as you want and keep adding on to the save files. So this is the one that we are working with. And then you'll come in here and what you want to do is replace and replace it with the save data pin that you made. Probably store that somewhere else so you don't get confused. And save hash and resign and then close out horizon you can eject the flash drive. Boom. And at this point, go ahead and turn on your Xbox. Uh, plug the flash drive back in, turn on your Xbox 360 and everything should be good to go. So let's just check real quick. This is all there is to it. It's very fast and simple. Um, I may have been a little confusing in how I tried to explain this. I tried to be as uh, efficient as possible, but I am not the best at explaining things. But. If you load in, you should be able to, oh, 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 actually, this is something that, uh, uh, why Xbox home? Yeah. End the game, end the game, end the game. I didn't want to answer it yet because this is important. So. Now, uh, nope, 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 storage, storage, storage. You'll want to take your flash drive and you'll want to copy that over to your hard drive. I have, uh, I mean, do this after you confirm that everything has worked out all right. I have nothing I care about on the console. So now you'll have a backup that you can copy over whenever you need to boot up. Uh, whenever you want to use Emblem Skip Glitch again. So Sonic Adventure 2. And if you can load up either one, load up the hard drive. Because I copied it over, and there you go. It should look like this. 43 minutes, 59 seconds, security hall, five. That is the right save file. That is my 180 emblem file. And yeah, just go through and you know how to do I'm going to skip glitch load in dark watch all of the uh, watch all the cutscenes and wait around for five minutes as there's nothing else to it I, I wish you could skip this on Xbox 360 that would be nice